Welcome back everyone, I'm Halo Goddess and this is another pick a card video which is going to be all about who is the person that is gossiping about you behind your back and if it's not gossip then if there is somebody who is engaging in a conversation when it comes to you then who is this person that's talking about you and what are they talking about and also what are this person's intentions towards you um, and what's this connection like? Um, for the first group, I have a Wombat Spirit with the message be at home and the number is 68. And then I've got Dragonfly Spirit with the message truth transcends illusion and the number is 22. So the timestamps are going to be given in the description box below as usual. And you can choose whichever option is calling out to you the most. And with that being said, let's move on to the first option. The wombat spirit okay so if you've chosen the option number one or the uh, wombat spirit this is going to be a reading all about who are the people that are gossiping about you or who's the person that is talking about you behind your back and what is this person speaking about when it comes to you and literally what's going on what are this person's intentions so I have a warm bath spirit and it says be at home and the number on it is 68. So I'm going to put it to the side and let's see what tarot cards come up for you um, when it comes to this topic. Okay, so for group number one, I'm hearing number seven right off the bat. I'm also hearing Libra and Aries. The person that's gossiping about you, I have a feeling that, um, I mean, in the reading, um, things might turn out a bit differently, but I'm sensing there's someone who you never really connected with right from the start. Like you always had this off feeling, like you always felt off about someone and it kind of proved to be right. And afterwards you got to know that this person is like saying this and this about you and like they, they also don't like you, stuff like that. Like right from the start you had a feeling um that you know things were just not right with someone or like you didn't feel the vibe um that's kind of the feeling i have so who is gossiping about group number one this person does not like you at all i'm hearing okay You know, this is one. These are one of those. Um, this kind of reminds me of those people who, um, if they could, if they don't have something in life, they like to blame others for that, like others for their failure or like others for the fact that they didn't get whatever they wanted. Stuff like that. Yeah. And yeah, and that's that. Oh my goodness, what? An interesting card to have in this type of reading I have the high priestess literally this is like um, it's all about secrets and lies so let's see what comes up I'm, I'm so excited for it okay so the first card I have is somebody's name starts with C I'm hearing okay not far from the high priestess so we have the magician and with this one i feel um someone has a dog i don't know why i got that um someone is also really sensitive to, to sense or like um someone could have some allergies and that's also something that's coming up um yeah I do want to say whoever this person is that's gossiping about you is really manipulative. They never really um, say things clearly. They don't intend to do that. And also at the same time, this person also has, um, they have a way of talking about things in circles and like, and they can speak about something in a straightforward manner, but they would rather not do that. So that's kind of, I'm hearing Capricorn, and Libra again, so somebody certainly could be a Libra. Um, okay. 
I'm hearing the word raccoon, so I don't know why. And um, I'm also hearing Pisces. You have, this is not a new person. You have known this person for some time already. I'm not too sure if you are connected to this person right now, but this person is not new. They're kind of, if I have to, um, this person probably old. Okay, let me just say that way. Uh, when I say old, what I mean is this person, you have known this person for some time at this point and you're not shocked, you know, to know all of these things. It's almost like you kind of are already aware of it. So we have a page of pentacles. Somebody downplays um, things in their life a lot. Oh, all right. Okay. So it's only two ways. Either, okay, there is someone... This is so interesting and um, so hilarious. I'm hearing there is someone in this group who chose this group and they're dealing with someone else in their life who either pretends that they don't have enough or they downplay a lot of things in their life and they show that, oh, like things are not, maybe just to have sympathy or like just to not give too much information. I don't know what the motive is behind doing all of this um whatever facade they're putting up on but i have no clue why they're doing that or the other thing that's happening or that could be happening is this person is not pretending or it's not downplaying what they're doing is they don't they have very little like they have barely um they just have the bare minimum okay um and what this person is doing is that they are bragging the heck out of it this person is showing off of things of probably people in their life if this person is in a relationship and um if that's the case this person is probably bragging the entire time how much they're loved and taken care of when in reality it's not that it's not that way the way this person is portraying it to be so that's the feeling i have someone fake we're dealing with someone fake here um you would know who this person is that i am speaking about and you would know if this is your pile or not if it's not if you're not dealing with someone fake if you're not dealing with someone who is literally when i say fake i'm not saying that this person is a liar like fake is like next level this person exaggerates stuff to the point where it's where it literally is um a pain to be in this person's presence like if you if you're one of those people who can literally read people or if you have a bit of like um observation skills going on and then you're around some people who are like super fake and then you can just see on their face and like you can hear it in their voice like how they speak about their life and how much they brag and you're like okay i'm so over it like i just want to get out of here and get some fresh air these people are literally so suffocating like that's the feeling i have okay even i am feeling so um suffocated speaking about it um never mind so we're gonna yeah you're not in contact with these people for a lot of you you are not in contact and for some of you you were not in contact with this person for some time but you probably got back in touch with this person again something happened and you connected Again, that's the feeling I have. Um, for those of you, you have lost touch with this person and you don't wish to reconcile whatsoever. That's the feeling I have. Somebody's name starts with A. I also heard the name Ashley. Something about that. And somebody's name also starts with B. Um, a lot of feminine energy going on. I know it's the King of Cups, but that's, that's the vibe. So, with the King of Cups, okay, what's that? I also, okay, this is a bit different like i kind of want to keep this card here like not close to these ones and the reason is that 
this has a different vibe this feels like a different scenario altogether like it's it's not fitting in those and you can see the color scheme also has changed which is quite evident and it's yeah it's like so obvious i feel like there's someone who had a dream of you very recently you probably did not meet this person or like you did not interact with this person recently but somebody is thinking about you because they had a dream of you recently like it's very recent um maybe you also did have a dream of this person right after something like that um but that's that's kind of the way i'm i'm just gonna keep it but just know that this is like a different energy okay then we have the full I'm also hearing the person that's gossiping about you, the person that I was speaking about in the beginning of the reading. They really don't have a support system like they used to show. Um, they have not. They've lost it for some reason because of their own deeds, I'm hearing. With the full card, I feel... Um, I think there is just something about you, something effortlessly, um, you can call it like you're real, you're effortlessly charming. There is something about you that people just get drawn to you and even if they meet you once or twice, they still somehow get to know a big deal about you. Not that they know you very well, but they feel. I feel like this is what these people are kind of um, living in an illusion, I would say. Whoever meets up with you, they think that they know you pretty well um, just by meeting up with you for the first time. And that's not the truth. That's far from the truth, if I'm being honest. Um, but that's kind of what these people think. And, and that's why these people get so... You're different. Yes, I see. And um, there's something about you that really draws people in. Like people of all kinds, not just um, not just one type of people. I would say you could be a Scorpio or a Leo. Because as I'm saying it, I'm being reminded of the Six of Wands card. I'd be surprised if that comes up. Um, but Six of Wands is all about attracting all the types of fishes in the pond. Like there are good fishes and then there are bad um, people, you know. So you're attracting all kinds of people. Or like all kinds of people get attracted to you. If you say crows, um, I think that's a sign. Okay. Let me see what else do we have. I'm hearing right now people are not gossiping about you at least not to not to um not to the extent you might be thinking or at least um even if some people are talking about you or gossiping about you there is going to be this one incident that is coming towards you and this incident is going to make people literally um kind of obsessed over you like obsessing over you a lot of people are going to be obsessing and i know what this incident is i know what this is um but you're gonna have this one experience and it's coming very soon it's not far away yeah and i feel like you are going to be the hot topic um for a lot of conversations i am not really sensing the negative gossip sort of negative like evil energy it's not evil really but you get it like toxic yeah i'm not sensing that toxic sort of energy but the kind of feeling i have is like you are going to be on everyone's tongue so i don't know what you're doing but you are doing something you're making an appearance you are um you're going somewhere you're going to be around people so i see that speaking of leo I said so you could be a Leo or a Scorpio. And this um, 
this is the queen of wands and wands represent fire signs so that could be the case yes i feel like you're really confident and self-assured you really um but you're also quite emotional you're also quite sensitive you do care what people think of you maybe you did up to a certain point maybe now you don't you try not to care about them um you try to shrug these people off from your mind as much as possible yeah You've changed in a lot of ways, but you have a very beautiful personality, I have to say that. Um, no wonder these people are, like, obsessing over you. And then we have, oh my goodness, King of Pentacles, somebody new, someone, a mystery man, isn't it? King of Pentacles. A mystery man is going to come up knocking at your door. Not literally, but someone is coming up, for sure, certainly. And um, someone's name could start with S. Yes. And also, um, this person, something, something about this person is mysterious. I have to say that. You're going to be, this person is going to spark your curiosity. Yeah. I'm hearing you're going to be floating on clouds. I don't know what's happening, but someone rich. I mean, this is the King of Pentacles. They could have bought the King of Cups, but that's already here. So, King of Swords or the Wands even, but the King of Pentacles. Interesting. Mature person. Um, and... I mean, this is like a two-in-one reading because I was, this reading should be about who's gossiping or talking about you, but we have also who's coming in, so that's really exciting. This is going to get you really excited. I don't know who this person is, but they are, Um, yeah, you're going to be super intrigued and so into this person from the get-go. I can totally see it. Yeah. This is the kind of person, you've never met these, this kind of person before. Like, this is a really different kind of an individual. Um, okay, we have three of swords. Then I have, I'm just going to place all of the cards. Then we have the end. Okay, so, ace of cups, a new person, a new love connection. It's not platonic, I feel. Okay. And then we have justice. Okay. I'm hearing something backfired. If somebody tried to um, ruin your reputation, um, sabotage your peace or something like that, like somebody betrayed you, this person is, um, whatever they tried to do, their efforts um, and everything, it seemed at the time they were successful, but it all backfired judgment okay then we have three of cups and um, then I've got the four of swords and interesting I like that I'm gonna take some more cards because I need two more cards. We have the High Priest. I just want to look at this one for some reason. It was so... It was drawing me in right from the start. I'm hearing you still have time. Like somebody saying to you, you still have time. I think there's someone who chose this group and they're really hyperactive. Like they have this mind which is always thinking, always active always on the go yeah kind of like that so you're about to meet up with someone who's going to kind of calm you down like yeah like you know fire and ice that sort of a combo number seven is coming up the biggest mystery is coming to light the biggest mystery 
I don't know what the biggest mystery is in your life, but it's the biggest one. <laughs> They're saying again and again, it is coming to light. I'm just, I'm just feeling really excited, uh, feeling all sorts of emotions, and even if it's really, really specific, I mean, it's all right. So, and lastly, I've got temperance. goldfish i'm hearing and um if someone used you in the past i want to say in some way yeah that's what's coming up maybe this person is talking about you the one who used you um took advantage of you and stuff like that that's coming up and then we have a wombat spirit I mean you need not be afraid don't be afraid okay um, yeah someone is really stressed or get stressed easily as I said hyperactive mind and then we have You really need to protect yourself right now. And the reason why I say that is because you have to, um, when it says be at home, it does not literally mean that you have to be at home the entire time and you cannot go out and stuff like that. Like it does not literally mean that. What it means um, as far as I can um, see it and I can feel from this card is that you need to protect yourself from certain people, certain energies. You have had experience and you have known things and you have learned quite a lot. You're not the same person you used to be two years ago or three years ago um, or even six months ago. You're different. You're changing at a fast pace and you are wise and you know who's right for you if you doubt yourself and if you're like oh but maybe no you know who is right for you you know right from the very moment you meet someone you know if somebody's gonna be a good influence on you and if they're going to be quite the opposite so be wise and choose smartly don't stress too much on it but i would say protect yourself protect um your energies by ensuring that you have set healthy boundaries and that's kind of the feeling i have with this one and also if somebody is pushing you down some um okay this is very specific if you feel like you are developing some sort of a some sort of a problem within yourself like okay this is very specific i i hope like i hope i do not trigger someone I'm hearing somebody has some addiction issues or some problem with um, certain substance or something. And if somebody is pushing you down that route, I would say stay away from those people. And um, yeah, okay, I'm not going to talk too much about it, but I would just say, you know, um, the best for yourself and you are wise enough to make your own decisions you don't have to ask somebody else you don't even have to um, watch terror readings to know what is right and what is not right for you you know that by yourself so make wise decisions and do not be careless with yourself so yeah, with that, I'm going to finish off this pile right here. If you liked this video, please give this video a thumbs up. Also, I just wanted to say it does not just have to be an addiction issue. It could be something which makes you feel a certain level of negative which you're not able to handle. Like if somebody's making you feel toxic or negative and you're just not able to cope up with it and you feel like it's not good for you. Okay. Um, so that's all. Um, if you liked this video, 
please give this video a thumbs up and also subscribe down below if you haven't already and do keep in mind that this is a general reading so if you do wish to book a personal reading with me you can definitely email me and my email is given in the description box below thank you so much once again for watching hope you all have a lovely day bye see you guys next time okay so if you've chosen the option number second or the dragonfly spirit this is going to be a reading all about who is the person that is gossiping about you behind your back and what are they talking about when it comes to you and also what are this person's intentions and um yeah what's your connection like with them so this reading is going to be centered all around that i'm gonna put it to the side and let's have a look at all of the cards um yeah so i'm gonna draw the tarot cards for you right now let's see what comes up I'm here at number six for some reason. I'm also, um, I also got the image of the lover's card, interestingly. Um, so I feel like this could even be somebody who is interested in you, like somebody who's interested in you, interested in you, and they're talking about you maybe to their friends and like, I don't know. You know, um, does not really have to be negative. Yes, this could be um, an air sign as well. Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra. Who is um, talking about group number two behind their back? Someone's name could start with A. I'm also hearing um, T. And um, P as well. I also got J. Okay. I mean, don't trust your gut instincts. Trust your gut instincts. It's almost like somebody is probably getting the weirdest dreams, and um, somebody is probably maybe you are um, maybe you are getting the getting someone um, in your mind, or you are having the idea of someone being interested in you, and you're like. Oh, that cannot be the case. Like, that's so ridiculous. But you know what? That could literally be the truth. And this person could literally be interested in you. We have the Wheel of Fortune at the bottom of the deck. I'm going to put it to the side. And let's have a look at all of the cards that I got for you. Okay, so the first card I have is... the knight of swords okay someone has really beautiful eyes and that's kind of the feeling i have and um let me see i do want to say whoever this person is they're coming towards you this energy is coming towards you um, this is not somebody who's like moving away from you. Um, that is something I want to make clear right now. This is seven of wands. I'm hearing somebody's hardworking. So I don't know if it's you or if it's this person, but someone is um, really hardworking, secretive. Okay. And. Um, they're honest but they're honest but they're not um easy to read or should i say they're honest but don't think or like don't be tricked into thinking that this person is going to not hide something okay so that's that we have two or ones I want to say there is someone who is getting entangled in their feelings for you and um, this person basically wants to know if it's mutual if you also feel the same way they do 
if you also fancy them if you also are attracted to this person or however they feel towards you they want to know if that's the case for you as well like if you also do um connect and you also do uh, match up with their energy and that's the feeling i have somebody could be a fire sign aries leo sagittarius if that's not the case somebody is being all fired up for you then we have page of cups okay For some reason, I'm being asked to see the next card. Wait, let me bring the next card. Oh, okay. So, then we have the Magician. With this combo, somebody is a Scorpio. For some reason, I got that. Um, okay, so this is somebody who... You know what? Okay, so, so interesting. First of all, um, there is someone in your life, or used to be in your life, this could be someone who's literally gossiping about you. This does not have to be connected with the messages I told you about. So don't try to connect this message with that. I do want to say, you know what, take it how it resonates with you. I don't have to tell you that. So, I'm hearing Canadian. Never mind. So, there is someone who acts innocent and who acts all... Um, sweet and nice and harmless yes that's the word harmless somebody acts harmless but they are not the way they're portraying first of all and second of all i do want to say this person is manipulative this person is cunning this person is sharp like sharp-minded and um they are so so aware of things happening in your life like yeah it's almost like this person wants to get some information if they're not present in your life right now this person is still very much curious about you i'm gonna have some space here because i feel like that's that just does not vibe um i just want to say if there's someone gossiping about you these people are like um there's this weird energy going on. Somebody could be a Pisces, first of all. But yeah, this person is like... They're still very much interested in you. And they're so curious about you. Even if you're not present in their life. Even if that's the case. And then I have the Knight of Pentacles. Um, with the Knight of Pentacles... I heard a rat, so I don't know what, maybe a rat could be a sign for you. Oh, all right. I mean, I do not judge them right away. I feel like this is the person that's interested in you. Do not judge this person right away. They may appear to be plain and simple, but they're not. I also heard plain old boring, but they're not. For some reason, you're going to judge this person in a way, and they are not that. They're probably a bit different than what you are judging them to be. Something like that. That's the feeling I have. I also see a shell. That could be a sign for someone. And um, yeah, definitely. And then I have justice. I'm hearing the words karma comes for everyone. Or it's almost like... Um, what you put out, that's what you're going to get in return. So, if someone tried to outsmart you or like, if someone is simply giving off bad vibes, they, I mean, they better watch out or something like that. Um, 
in speaking of Libra, um, I said Libra. I think um, a while ago. In this is the justice. I'm, yeah, kind of surprised that we got this card. Somebody's initials could be V. I also have B and C as well. In H as well. Um, don't give this person another chance. Maybe they want to be back. Someone wants to come back to you. Do not give this person another chance. Don't. You know, this person might act all nice and sweet. As I said in this one, they might act harmless. They might, uh, they might um, portray themselves to be innocent and um, naive and all that but this person is really manipulative and they always know how to um, mold a situation to their advantage and stuff like that like just don't don't even entertain this person it's not worth it ten of wands this one is really jealous that's all I can say with this one and then we've got the Hierophant. Yes, why not? I also want to say somebody wants to make a huge offer towards you. And that, and that does entail marriage. I know it's a bit freaky. Oh my goodness. We have the devil. And what was I saying? It's underneath justice and i knew what justice was about and we have the devil to confirm that somebody's an aries yeah you know some people i feel like what i'm about to say is going to make so much sense to someone in specific and if it does please i would love to read your comment or something um, but I'm hearing, you know, a lot of people think that they can um, walk all over someone or like, I don't know, like backstab someone and um, spread rumors about someone. And what's going to happen to them? Like no one's going to know and everything's going to be fine. Everybody's going to forget. And even the person that gets trolled or like that gets talked about or like people are going to be gossiping about this person everybody's going to forget after a certain point of time and even that person will forget um but you know what the universe does not the energy does not get destroyed it always comes back and that's why they say be good to people be kind and always put out good vibes and that's not just to say it is truly the case and someone did not follow this or should I say somebody um, tried to act tried to outsmart you and thought that oh nothing would touch them but they were so wrong I do want to say this could be someone who's who was really self-centered because I got that vibe and then we have nine of swords someone is really really um i don't know what's going on i keep flipping um back and forth between these two groups so maybe it could be like maybe some of you have someone thinking about you and obsessing over you romantically and then there is someone who is also gossiping about you it cannot be the same person that's that's not the feeling i have I get that somebody's really, really um, attracted to you. And not too sexually. Like, I have to say that. This is intense. Because when I left that devil card, I got a weird vision. And I cannot, I just cannot ignore some things. Oh my goodness, yeah. This does confirm that. Someone sees you as the Queen of Wands and all of these roses, red roses all around her. It's like, um, this person 
sees you. Like you are. I have to. You know what? I'm being reminded of this one. Um, this one dialogue from the show. I believe it's Bridgerton. Maybe it's. um Yeah. I don't remember exactly when it's being said. But it's something like. You're the object of all my desires. And that's. Oh my goodness. I'm yeah this is like freaky but that's the feeling I got when I touched this card the fact that I have the devil and then ten of wands and um queen of wands as well two of wands it kind of all goes hand in hand and it does confirm I do want to say something has been broken even with the person that's really really attracted to you if not the connection itself, I would say their hopes have been crushed or something. Ace of Cups. Um, yeah. Someone is really, really into you. And then we have Ten of Pentacles. This person could belong to a different ethnicity. Uh, wherever you live or wherever they live, I feel like... Someone lives in a place where there is like um, the climate is really really hot and humid. That's the feeling I have. And um, I'm hearing they're doing good with money, something like that. And um, I have to take one more card from the deck, and it is um the wheel of fortune i'm gonna keep it right here and let's see yeah and the last one is obviously the card that you chose dragonfly spirit it says truth transcends illusion um oh my goodness i this is like um everything is confirming what i said and i think i said something like you should not doubt yourself or you should trust your gut instinct and they're using the word illusion here, which um, brings me back again to the message I said in the beginning. And then it also has number 22 on it. That could be significant to someone. Maybe somebody is, I don't know, 22 years old or like this date could be significant to someone. Or something about this number could be significant. I'm hearing someone turned icy cold. This could be about someone from the past. I feel like this entire reading is about somebody from the past. And um, someone turned icy cold. Oh, it's you. It could be you. Maybe that's how this person feels. Um, that you've become towards them. And um, yeah. It's so interesting, I chose this card without even realizing. Wait, let me show you. Yeah, so here's the thing. I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but in the card of the Ace of Cups, I have, like, if you can see, there's a dragonfly on the cup literally on the cup and i've got the dragonfly spirit so it's so interesting that like i didn't even realize this card was gonna come out yeah someone is not able to move on or still in the feels for you like very much i don't know what's going on but yeah Definitely something is up. I'm wearing an umbrella. 
yeah maybe that song could be significant somebody also wears glasses something about that too i'm also hearing pres prism i don't know i heard that um something to do with um somebody's name could start with h i also heard um m could be significant n um uh, first name or last name and i also heard the name bob so that could be significant as well i'm gonna finish off this part right here if you liked this video please give this video a thumbs up and also subscribe down below if you haven't already and do keep in mind that this is a general reading so if you do wish to book a personal reading with me you can definitely email me and my email is given in the description box below thank you so much once again for watching hope you all have a lovely day bye see you guys next time